really cool that I can now have a consistent voice in our podcast. I know. It was so weird how we always just sounded different all the time. Like, look at this. I just responded to you in the same voice. Thank God we have Weavy here to solve this problem. That entire podcast interaction was created with VAO3, but that was just the output video. There is another tool that I've been using to help me get the more consistent voices and combines all the videos into one, and that tool is called Weavy, and this is how it works. Weavy is a tool which combines images, video, and AI tools together into one big canvas. It uses a node-like approach, as you see here on the screen, uh, to basically create images and connect flows together with prompts and text. And I'm going to show you how I use it to create this Veo3 podcast with the consistent voices. So everything starts here with like the image prompt, uh, and I'm using uh, Mediogram version three here, and I asked it to generate uh, just, just an image of someone that's on a podcast. And I did this twice, one here for this person, and again here for a second person. So these are the two characters that are in the podcast. The next thing I added was their voiceover. So this here is that text I put in, which is another text that I'm gonna use part of a prompt. And this is the dialogue that's being used in, that, in this podcast scene overall, which is great. After that, I'm going to be combining this as well as a negative prompt to make sure nothing moves in the, in the eventual video here. I want to keep it on them like a podcast camera. And we're going to combine these together into a prompt concatenator. I'm going to say that word a lot today, concatenator. As you can see, it combines the original prompt of what I, what I wanted to do and what I want the person to say. And all this gets combined here into VAO3 image to video. So it's taking the original image here from Ideogram and it's also taking the prompt that's coming from our negative prompt and the, and the actual dialogue itself, which is, which is awesome. Really cool that I can now have a consistent voice in our podcast. I've done the exact same for the second character here as well, the voice, the negative prompt into the concatenator and it pumps out this video here of the people. One of the key issues we have with AO3 is that it's very hard to have a consistent character voice. So every time I generate this video, the person is going to have a different voice. But with Weavy, since we have access to a bunch of other tools, we're going to actually extract the dialogue from this, from this video, which I've done here, extracted it out, and then we're actually after that going to go and use the 11 Labs voice changer tool here to take that dialogue and keep it and change it into actual a person's voice. So if I select the node here, I can see all these different voices here on the right, or different characters, which means I can actually pick a character voice to use over and over again using the extracted dialogue from the original Veo 3 clip. So I've done that twice for the first character, for the second character here, extracted the voice and everything, and that all comes now, now into this new sort of node here where I can merge the audio and video together. Really cool that I can now have a consistent voice in our podcast. And the best thing after this is that we can actually now merge these clips together so it's kind of edited together with a video concatenator. So that combines the first clip and the second clip and that creates that, that already that, that back and forth podcast kind of style that we're looking at here. All you have to do after that is repeat the entire process again. So I've got a, I've got a whole other, other stream here for the second part of the conversation, which is great, with the voiceover, the negative prompts and everything. The same voice here with the 11 lab voice changer that goes into merging the audio and video uh, together again into their own video concatenator. And then after that, I can combine those both, those final videos into one final video concatenator, which combines all the scenes together into one, which gives you that final podcast. This, you can download that final clip. You can edit it to be a bit faster. I do hope they eventually get like a video crop edit tool in Weavy because we'd be really, really, really awesome. But this is a really cool way to create a podcast with, in like a node format from absolutely nothing, combining different tools together. And you have full control to edit any of this. And you can kind of just keep replicating this over and over again to eventually have a fully fledged like AI podcast, combining tools like Ideogram, where we're using 11 Labs, Veo3 and everything all together. And this is why I've been really enjoying using Weavy.